This is the Guilty Gear Strive character breakdown for Mei, the powerhouse first mate of the Jellyfish Pirates. Totsugeki! Before you Totsugeki your way to victory with Mei's trusty Mr. Dolphin, it's important to understand how Guilty Gear Strive's inputs fit into Mei's game plan. Mei's sizable normal attacks do an excellent job at bullying the opponent both in the air and on the ground. Far Slash, Crouching Slash, and Heavy Slash are very difficult buttons for your opponent to contest and can be cancelled into Mr. Dolphin, commonly referred to as Totsugeki, to pressure the opponent further. Close Slash provides advantage on block and leads to a lethal strike throw game. You can delay your follow-up Gatling or utilize another Close S to catch people pressing buttons for huge counter hits. Once you've conditioned them to stop pressing buttons, you can dash up and throw. Jump Heavy Slash is a huge normal attack that deletes most options the opponent will attempt. It is susceptible to the upper body invulnerability of forward punches, but may even defeat those from time to time. In general, Mei's jump is very fast and high reaching, allowing her to evade situations other characters cannot. Mei's main anti-air is forward punch due to the upper body invulnerability of the move. Close slash and crouch heavy slash will work in some instances. Test which air options you can beat with the aforementioned normal attacks in training mode because they net gigantic damage if successful. Practicing and understanding the applications of Roman cancels is important in Strive, especially if you're picking up a character that greatly benefits from them such as Mei. Remember that you can Roman cancel in various scenarios and the color will vary per scenario, but you need tension meter to successfully pull off the RC. Her forward kick is a quick overhead. This move is almost entirely safe on block but cannot be cancelled into a special. The opponent also recovers on hit before you can follow up with another attack, forcing Mei to Roman cancel for an extended combo. Mei's special attacks cause the opponent to pull their hair out as they have to deal with fast, long-range dolphins, a very potent beach ball tool that makes the opponent guess on block, and everybody's favorite, a command grab. Horizontal Mr. Dolphin is the bane of your opponent's existence. The slash version is incredibly fast and staggers on counter hit. When blocked, Mei is left at a range where her opponent is unable to punish and she can steal her offensive pressure back in a variety of ways. Heavy Slash Mr. Dolphin has a bit of delay during startup, but nets a guaranteed big damage follow up on counter hit and leaves Mei at advantage on block. Vertical Mr. Dolphin acts as an anti-air from different ranges depending on which version is used. Slash Vertical Dolphin is fast and can anti-air opponents jumping in quickly and closely. Heavy Slash Dolphin is slower but travels a greater distance and can work as a longer range tool to disrupt airborne foes. After Vertical Dolphin, Mei is free to act in the air on block or hit with another attack, air dash, or double jump, causing much confusion for the opposition. Arisugawa Sparkle sends a beach ball flying towards the opposition at one of two angles. The beach ball is susceptible to being hit and destroyed by the opponent, but provides massive advantage on block, leaving Mei free to do almost anything she wants. The kick version of Sparkle travels three-fourths of the screen and can act as a pseudo-projectile. Delaying the punch version of this move after knockdowns from Crouching Dust, Slash Vertical Dolphin, or Normal Throw forces the opponent to block the beach ball as they rise, leaving Mei with a plethora of options to open them up. Practice using Roman Cancel during the active frames of this move to create a lethal offensive game. Overhead Kiss is Mei's command grab and grabs her a meterless combo follow-up whether you land it mid-screen or in the corner. Command grabs are strong when your opponent blocks and they are also invulnerable to normal throws, so you can use them to counter regular grab attempts. The wonderful and dynamic Gosho Guara is an overdrive where Mei rides her hardened orca into battle. Its invincible startup makes it a great reversal both on the ground and in the air. The overdrive has two hits and only the second hit can wall break. Roman canceling this move causes Mei to hop off the orca, but the whale continues, allowing you to present a deadly setup. In her great Yamada attack overdrive, Mei sends a giant pink whale to fill the screen and delete health bars along the way. This overdrive has no invincibility and very slow startup. It can be used as a hard callout anti-air when Mei's back is to the corner, but it is primarily used when Mei has 100 tension, so you can Roman cancel after activating the overdrive and present the opponent with a mix-up as Yamada is about to hit, resulting in massive damage. Mei is an incredibly fun and powerful character to learn in Strive, so grab your anchor, invite your aquatic friends, and Totsugeki your way into the Guilty Gear Strive Open Series. Go to compete.playstation.com or sign up in-game. PlayStation.